Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing good. I'm a little late with this month's Friday favorites because when I was due to film this, I got a call that one of my family members wasn't doing very well and we kind of prepared ourselves to, to say goodbye to them. They actually rallied round and it was our birthday yesterday. So me and David were FaceTiming with them yesterday and we got to have another birthday with them. It's so strange because you start going through all the stages of grief at that stage and then all of a sudden that just stops. My family member's doing okay. My mind is not caught up, just been such a roller coaster. Because my whole family came in from America, I was making sure that everybody had a place to sleep and there was food in the house and you know, just all of these different things. And so I never let myself even really feel anything. If you have a chronic illness, you know getting emotional, it's a privilege that you just don't have sometimes. I didn't have an extra spoon to get upset, you know? I didn't have that in me. I needed just to keep going. I needed to make sure that I was doing all of these different things and Davey being the absolute angel that he is, he like brought all my stuff, brought my clothes for me to my parents' house because that's where I, the base was for me. He shows up and he did a shop for my family and he cooks a big dinner for us all, like a home cooked meal. He's just an absolute angel. I'm so grateful to him for being there. I did actually, I did cry twice. I cried when I saw my brother because my brother came in from America. I cried when I saw him because it was a relief. It was like getting an extra spoon, you know, cause I knew I had a sibling. I could be like, cause the, my other siblings couldn't come back. Having him there, I was like, Whew, now I can get upset. And then also I was driving and I looked down at my hands and I saw my rings and I just was like, you know, fixing my ring. And then I realized, oh, me and my mom and this family member, I always think we have quite similar hands. They're much nicer than mine, but I always think we have quite similar hands. That's when I got upset because I was like, I always thought there was three of us, you know? And then there was only gonna be two. On, in, on the earth, you know? Such a strange thing that just got me really emotional. And that's when I was waiting for a train to go past as well. And I was like, okay, so I'll, I'll just have this little moment while I'm waiting for the train to pass and then I'll suck it up and get going. So like the lights are flashing and I'm like, okay, you can, you know, feel something and, and let, let myself kind of go a little bit. And then as the, as the train passed, I was like, right, suck it back up again, keep going. Just wanted to be there for everybody else. It's sad to even think of it that way though, because I don't think that's good for your mental health. So if I'm not myself, I'm just, it's just, it's just been really draining and I know my hair, <laughs> my hair is so flat and I need a haircut and I don't look myself and I don't feel myself, but you know, I, I, I still wanted to do something that's a little bit normal. So here are my Friday favorites for the month of September. So every month I have a home favorite, a hair favorite, a makeup favorite, a beauty tool, and a book or a TV show. So my home favorite are bulbs, light bulbs that have like switches. I just think that they're so cool. I love the fact that I can just like turn on a light. I don't know if it's gonna work because I think it's gonna create little lights, but let me just, uh, yeah, see it's, it's going all weird. If you see these, seriously get them. They're actually really handy. And also my brother has an Alexa and he got bulbs for the Alexa and you can tell Alexa, hey Alexa, turn the lights down or turn lights on or change it, you know? And I just think that's a really cool little thing. So that was my home favorite for, for this month. My hair favorite for this month are these clips. I got these in pennies. I know my sister got some online and then I saw them in pennies the other day. And if you get a chance to go to pennies, do. I love them. Look, they're, they're um, plasticky sort of bit here. And then that way when you slide your hair in, it kind of keeps it in position. So if you have like bangs like me, you know, those kind of curtain bangs, I think these are just great for like keeping it keeping it where you, where you want it to be um, kept, I guess. I don't know if you're supposed to have it this way or, or that way. Cause I feel like that would flatten it, right? But then sometimes I actually want it to be flat underneath. So I guess it just depends what you want it for. But I just think they're really cool. So I really like those. For a makeup favorite this month, it's the Mary Luminizer. This is a very well known, you know, classic highlighter. I think a lot of people would know about this highlighter. And it's actually my mom's favorite highlighter. And I'm not gonna get into the whole story with this, but this has just been very important to the both of us this month. And she loves this. She, she puts it on the tops of her cheeks. She puts it above her brows, a little bit maybe on the lid. And then, you know, that's her kind of finishing step. And so this, this, is, um, this is this month's makeup favorite for sure. Because it's my mom's birthday month. You know, all of this happened around my mom's birthday. And um, yeah, so this is for my mom this month. And I and I, I, I wear it, I have it on right now. And I love it, I think it's so beautiful. So that's the one for my mom. 
for a makeup tool or hack. So this this time we're going to talk about makeup tool, I guess you're gonna, I'm going to call it. So Blank Canvas, just before all of this happened, Blank Canvas came out with this set and I did a video over on my Instagram and I talked through the set, but it's like a beautiful kind of purpley festive makeup set that they came out with boots. So they're like in con in kind of collaboration with Boots. And it's a beautiful, beautiful set. And I did a did a little tutorial over on my Instagram and it really inspired me. And that was just before all of this happened. And I wanna do a YouTube video on it, but I, I love that set. I think it's a, a perfect set, has like a little case, it has a mirror, and I loved it. It really inspired me to create some looks and um, got me very excited. So, oh no, it's their, their, tenth, their 10th birthday is coming up. So I'll let you know if there's any deals on that one. That's coming up soon. Moving on, I have my either book or TV show favorite, and this this month is definitely going to be this one. This is Wild Irish Women. This is filled with stories about women in Ireland who have done extraordinary things, wild things, just fought against something, and they're, each story is so inspirational. And the, the great thing about it is you don't have to read the whole thing. You can literally just flip to a random page and just read about that particular person. And, and each person only has like a couple of pages, so you can just, you know, pick it up on your lunch break or something like that and just flip to a random person, read about what she did in her life. And I think it's really um, a really perfect book for for this month, uh, with everything that I've been dealing with and stuff, it's it's a, a very inspiring, inspiring book. Queen Maeve of Connacht. This is a story here, all about her, and it's only just um, it's only a page long, so you can just sit there if you have a quick minute just to read a little story, a little short story, and I love it. And um, my sister actually got this for me for Christmas, was it two years ago? And I still haven't read every single one because I tend to just pick it up and read it whenever I need a little bit of inspiration from a wild Irish woman. So, oh, I'm getting, getting emotional, sorry. Um, yeah, so it's just uh, just because of everything that's been going on. Uh, so yeah, so if, you are, if you're looking for a book to inspire you, or if you have, you know, an Irish family member, an Irish grandmother or aunt or whoever it might be, your, or your, your own mother, and you, you just want to be inspired by Irish women and just women in general, I highly recommend this book. My sister's great at getting gifts. She just knows you and she knows exactly what to get you and this is just the most perfect thing that she's, she's ever given me. So that is it for this month's Friday favorites. I hope that you are doing well. As always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and um, give your family members a big old hug. You know, um, life is so short. Just live it. Just go and live it. Okay, I'll see you in the video really soon.